Good evening, Mr. Danny Mills. Good evening indeed, and what an evening it is. What an evening. The, the evening it was. after the night before. Did, by the way, did you see um that's a weird way to start the show. Did you see that <laughs> Jurgen Klopp look alike? I, do you know what? I saw him on Please Wembley Way walking it. up to Wembley. Did you actually really see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I have to say, I had to look twice. What, Jurgen Klopp on top of someone's shoulders? Well, no, he, he wasn't. He, this is before the game. He wasn't actually oh, okay. on top of someone's shoulders at that point. But mm. he, he was just walking up. And, I, and I, 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 had, I had to take a double look at it. He really does look it's the like same, It's the same Klopp. height and everything. Perfect, isn't I, it? To, do you know what to start with? I thought it was, it was so good. I mm. thought it was those prosthetic masks. That someone had put on that good, it's right? It's an unbelievable lookalike. What makes me laugh about all of this is like, look, we can make mistakes, but surely, I mean, if you speak to the man, you realize he's not Jurgen Klopp, but not <laughs> so for um, someone that was working on the Lorraine show. I know, um, I've seen and he that. said, Look, you know, we saw Jurgen Klopp, he said he spoke to him, and he was proud when he said it as well. And Lorraine's all giggly, like, You spoke to Jurgen Klopp, it's like, yeah, I spoke to him, and he, he told me about the season ahead. I'm like, How? <laughs> I mean, did he have a German accent as well? I How know. could you not know that wasn't Jurgen Klopp? It's bizarre. I, mean, I, I get it. it. The average, as you said, <clears> that you're walking down and you, you have a glance, but surely, I mean, if you arrange an interview and you, and he took a picture with him as well. And, and then you really think Jurgen Klopp's going to be on someone's shoulders drinking beer? I mean, I know, <laughs> he, I, you know, we, we, we've seen that he does like a, to swig back a drink, but come on. I mean, that, that's, um, that's slightly embarrassing. Have you been mistaken by anyone? For anyone? Oh yeah. Well, like, do you know what? Bizarrely, had it last night. People were hurling abuse at Alan Shearer. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, I went, you know what? Well, you know what? I'm not. You know I'm not. I'm, I'm, am I offended at that, or am I like slightly pleased that I scored 260 odd Premier League goals? I think you know what. Danny Murphy, I've had. Uh, oh, no, I've not. That's I've not, not had Alan. You know, you know when you get I've one, not had Alan Brazil yet. I'm not, I've got, not quite got to that level. It, it, it shouldn't get to that level, Danny. <laughs> um, you know when it's not a good one, like when it's someone that's no disrespect to uh, Danny Murphy, who I'm sure is listening in. When it's someone that. You better looking then. Like and, Andy, Andy, Andy Johnson, I've had. People are like, oh, you know when you played for Fulham and played for Palace? And no, don't remember that. Sorry. Like when <laughs> I, I when I have them. my hat on, I get Idris Elba quite a lot. <laughs> in, 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 in your and, and dark glasses and a bag over your head. Oh, no, come no, on! Like the mask, the dark glasses, and the hat. Oh, Idris, a little one second. Easy. I can't sign all the autographs now. All right, let's talk England. Um, Brilliant. Yeah, amazing. Uh, beat the old um, enemy, right? As 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 Gareth said, absolutely immense yeah. performance. Such a mature performance from a young, inexperienced mm. group of players. You know, changed the formation. Was brave in that. The negativity coming out before the game was incredible. It's, inc- it's crazy. Check, we've gone to a back five. We've got two defensive midfield players. If this doesn't work, then that's it. Got to sack him. That all over. We win two nil. Mm. I'm on the tube on the way home, yeah. hat on, mask on, in disguise. Thank goodness for masks. I'm telling um, you, this day they, and age. they do help that. Yep. Uh, and then I'm still hearing it, you know, oh, we can't play this way against Ukraine. Well, wait, sorry, you're hearing it after that victory. This is, this is less than an hour and a half after the game. People are going, yeah, but we can't play like this against Ukraine. Got to go back to a back four. Got to get Grealish in from the start. You know, why does he not play Grealish from the start? Why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? It's like, hang on a minute. For goodness sake, it's been, I, I don't know, it's been forever since we've beaten Germany in a competition. But Dan, you have Just to, enjoy it. But Dan, you have to understand us as fans. I mean, look, the song goes, 30 years of hurt. We, we've been hurt, Dan. It's not 30 years it's now. It's more than it's that. 60 it's 60-odd years. It's, it's it 55 is. years now. The people that sung that song don't have hair anymore, like me no. and you, it's done. So you can understand why they're a bit like that, but um, you're right. I mean, just enjoy the moment. Yeah, but look at, look at the pluses. Mm. Four clean sheets. Yeah. In the tournament so far. Yeah. One poor game against Scotland. Which was their best game. Scotland were unbelievable in that game. That's the best Scotland that have played for 20 years. And it's the best Scotland will probably play for another 20 years. And it was still nil-nil. Um, texts are open, by the way. 8, yeah. 10, 89. <laughs> please, please you know, feel free to text in. Um, and then you win the next game. You mm. finish top of the group. Everyone finishes. Oh, you know what? Finish second. We get an easier group. We get an easier run. To the, to the far. And now it's like, oh, well, it's not the same German side. Anyone can beat them. World Cup winners, Champions League winners. Crazy. When you look, when you look at the 11 that they put out, I mean, look at Gosens and look at Kimmich and you look at Max Hummels, the experience he has as well, and Muller, who had that fantastic chance. It's still a fantastic German oh, side. Exceptional, yeah. you know, exceptional players. Mm. Yeah, when, and when they got it together, they can be brilliant. So please, people, just enjoy it. You know, yes, okay, it will now be a big disappointment if we don't beat Ukraine. But let's enjoy it until Saturday, until kickoff. That's the thing though, isn't it? 
I mean, the German sides that I remember, and we, we were both at the age where we can remember World Cup uh, 90, Italian 90, where Germany beat England, but then went on to win it. Euro 96 beat England, went on to win it. We've got to go on to win it now. Surely if we don't get through to the final, and I said this to you earlier, with those teams on that side of the draw, it's failure. There's no, no, it's failure. I, 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 Ukraine. I, I, Ukraine I, I, for I, I, a place I struggle, in the I often struggle with failure in football because you can turn around and say, "Well, Pep Guardiola's failed at Manchester City because he's not won the Champions League, and that's what he was brought in to do." Mm. He's not really failed, though, has he? You know, in, in everything that he's won, you know, yeah. there's one thing that he hasn't quite, one box that he hasn't ticked. So, Pep Guardiola has not failed in any way, shape, or form. But if you if you flip it and say, "Well, his remit was to win the Champions League." You can say he's failed. It'd be a huge disappointment, I think, if England don't make it to the semi-finals. If England don't make it to the final, uh, it, look, potentially I mean, we're talking. Dis- yeah, we're talking potential semi-final against what the winners of Denmark and Czech Republic, who we've already beat. I mean, come on. Yeah, there is that um, at Wembley, but also full house. Any team that gets to a semi-final of a competition mm. is a good side. You talk about, you know, some of the best fo- top four teams in Europe. You know, yeah, yeah. The, the the French have gone, Netherlands have gone, Portugal have gone. You know, they've all been knocked out of this competition so far. Other teams are going to fall by the wayside. You know, along the way. So, it, you know, Croatia have gone from mm. that. You know, if you get to the final, you know, it'll be Italy, Belgium, or Spain. Will have one of those, have two gone. of those, will yeah. have gone. So, you know, they're a good side. Any team in a semi final is a very, very good side. So, but just enjoy it. We've beaten Germany, not conceded a goal. Gareth's making big, brave, bold decisions. Mm. All this about I keep in is he's a yes man. Well, he's not a yes man to the public or the journalists or the media because he's changing the team every single time. He's playing the team that he wants to play. He's formations. And he's still making, I would suggest, unpopular decisions that are working.